Well, I'm here now with three of the organisers from the Jerry Whelan weekend, but more importantly, the children of Jerry Whelan. Let's start off. Who was Jerry Whelan? Well, my uh, my dad was Jerry Whelan. He was from Leitrim um, and came to Coote Hill in 1939. Um, he, apart from uh, his work at building a business, uh, he, he had a big passion for music and the passing on of music. Um, and so from the time he came to Coote Hill, um, he kind of got music going and uh, kept that going on throughout his life. Um, Martin, I mean, what are your memories of being at home with your father? Was he always playing music in the house? Well, uh, Dad did a lot of travelling when he was starting up the business, so he was away most of the time, most of the week, you know, but when he came back at the weekends uh, on a Thursday night, he was well up for a, a tune or two, you know. And would people come to the house to play with him or would he travel off somewhere to a rambling house to, to play a few tunes, a Cayley house? Well, I'd say a ramble off would be the... <laughs> his preferred choice uh, yes yeah. of course your father we were earlier on today we were down at, at the business that uh, of course your father set up which is Whelan um, Footwear Manufacturers yeah uh, you uh, were the, the current managing director along yeah. with uh, with Vincent here yeah. you've all been involved in the business yes yes over a long number of years now and uh, yeah I can remember the very early days when we started off with just a little store in the mid uptown on the Mays Street you know, so I have, I have fond memories of that, but, uh, you know, I, I joined the business in 1970, you know, so I've been, been there, there since, since I've been there a long time, I think they want to get rid of me now. <laughs> 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 or maybe it's time to move on, but anyway. Uh, Vincent, I mean, was music a, a huge, um, a huge important factor in your dad's life? Oh, it was, it was uh, his sort of relief mechanism for when he wanted to unwind after, you know, stressful week business-wise and that. Uh, it was what he enjoyed doing, you know, and uh, he was also involved in since the formation of Coltus in the early days, you know, of uh, getting Coltus Coltory Aaron established, like in rural parts, you know. So your dad actually was here for the formation of the Coltus in Coot Hill. Yeah. Uh, and Geraldine, I know that pa the, the passing on of the tradition of music was very important to him. And I suppose the, the, the lovely thing as well, over this weekend, over the Jerry Whe Whelan weekend, you featured the local branch, the Coot Hill branch of the Coltus. That's young people. And that was really important to your dad. Yeah, the, um, his, his passion for music was one from the point of view of playing and enjoying it, but, but he was... Uh, very focused on being able to ensure that music got passed on to future generations. Uh, so the fact that it's the junior group class that are playing um, would make him very proud. Yeah, absolutely. Talk to us about what your dad actually played. I know he played a few instruments. Well, uh, the melodeon or the accordion was my first memory of him playing the accordion, you know, and uh, it was a grey, I don't know the name of it, but Paolo it was a pa Paolo Soprano, but I think it was a pretty expensive one, you know. And uh, but he enjoyed that. I can always see him in uh, many a session, you know, with uh, plenty of people around him enjoying the uh, entertainment, the music, and that. And then, as I say, he went on to Bowron playing, you know, and Bowron manufacturing or trying to get a Bowron, you know. So that was a, a, a story in itself. I believe, Geraldine, you've actually taken up music in the last number of years. Yes, that's that's correct. Since uh, since I moved back from the UK. Um, I've picked up my dad's melodeon. I think it was after one of the weekends here. I said that uh, the next time I came back to Coot Hill, I'd be playing it, and so um, I'm giving it a go anyway. So uh, I've I really enjoyed it. I think it was very significant that it was my father's melodeon that I that I uh, started to learn on. I've, I've I've got another box now, but um, yeah. So that you know that that love of the tradition certainly. Um, passed on. And uh, of course extra me. special when it is your dad's. Yeah and I think as, as well I guess too um, I think uh, when I was younger I, I was playing and, and one of the his very proud achievements was the St Michael's Marching Band uh, that won in Ireland in 1972 so I would have played in that and I played piano accordion but then uh, school and other things took over and the band uh, didn't kind of continue uh, many years after that. How did the whole idea for um, a Jerry Whelan music weekend, you know, how did that happen here in Coot Hill? Well, Martin who was the uh, founder, uh, had the idea of uh, 
through the Nya organisation of setting up a weekend, a concert initially, you know, bringing all Dad's friends together that could give an account of how they knew him, what he played, what he liked, what he didn't like, and lots of crack along the way that they would have experienced, you know, in each other's company, you know. So that's where it started, and then, you know, that was year one, it was just a one-night event, and then we went away very pleased, and we said we could make this a bigger thing, and uh, it, we did, slowly but surely, so we... Uh, and here we are, ten years on. Yes, it's hard yeah, to credit, yeah. It's get, uh, getting I mean, well established now, you know, in the musical calendar. And I'm sure it's, it's an event that people um, enjoy coming to, but also the musicians, I'm sure, enjoy coming and playing as well. Yeah, def definitely, and uh, the number of musicians uh, each year are growing in that, and they're bringing friends with them as well, so say, the numbers are growing all the time. Well, look, uh, thank you so much to Martin, to Geraldine, and to Vincent Whelan. Thank you so much for telling us all about your dad, Jerry Whelan, and for inviting us along for the weekend. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. With the Cavan Lilter, Seamus Faye. Seamus, we're here at the opening uh, ceremony for the Jerry Whelan weekend. Uh, it's a brilliant weekend. It is. This is my tenth year to attend to it. So I knew Jerry very well. He used to come over to sessions in Shalby's long ago, back in the 70s. And Jerry was the main man that time, keeping the sessions going. You would have been good buddies. I'm sure you would have been at lots of sessions together. Yes. Every, I'd be over every month that time. That's going back a while now. Now, Seamus, you yourself are a legend in the, well, not only the Cavan scene, but the Irish scene for, for your upkeep of music, but lilting is your, your yes. forte. Tell yes. us about lilting. Well, it's a thing that you can't learn. People be asking me to go and learn their kids, and it's really impossible, because you have to have it in you, you know. So my granny was a lilter, and my mother, so it's handed down. So you would have listened to your grandmother and your mother, I suppose, right. in wandering around the house, the kitchen, right. Lilton, right. and as a young boy you probably just picked it up. Picked it up, yeah. It come naturally. Yeah. yeah. You must have a nice singing voice though as well. You have yeah, to have a good air. I wouldn't be a brilliant singer, but uh, you know, I could make noise anyway. <laughs> what do you love about Lilton, Seamus? It's just, a, it lifts your heart, you know, uh, and it's, it, it, the crowd loves it. Mm. You know, you get a great applause anywhere I go. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Seamus, you had a very special role during the three flas yes. that were held in Cavan. Tell us what, what your role was. I was president for the three years. And what did you have to do as president of the flas? Well, you went round everywhere to all the dues, and your, your presence was, you know, everywhere. Was noted and, and appreciated. Yeah. That's right. And it was Martin Dunn who got me that. You know Martin. I do know Martin, yeah. rightly. Yeah. The Cavan man. The Cavan man <laughs> is right. It was him proposed me, and so I was for the three years. Great. Great time. You know, Kilmore, I mean, the, chrys the crystals, everywhere had big dues. I was at the top table. <laughs> uh, Seamus, the flowers in Cavan were just magnificent. Oh, terrific. The crowd. I, I was at the 54 one, so I'm giving away my age now. Now you're only a young man yeah, at heart. The great I smile. I was at the 54 one, that was the first one in Cavan. And it was a great time too, but it was very small compared to now. Mm. You know. What does Irish music mean to you, Seamus? Well, it's always just like pop to the youngsters. To me, it's, I love it, you know. And we had a gramophone long ago. And my father bought a gramophone in Connolly, you know, in the cabin stores, way back in 1934, at 12 and 6. And we used to play the records on the new, the, the, oh, if you let them fall, they break. The 78s, we used to play records on that every Sunday after dinner. And that was our entertainment of a Sunday. So f from that, I learned a lot of tunes. Yeah. I mean, I suppose it's wonderful to be here, and you're going to enjoy the concert tonight, oh, I'm yes. sure. Definitely, have a good time. Would you give us a little sneak preview of a lilt? I will. 
Thank <laughs> you.